Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, today we are going to be showcasing the brand new, or at least relatively new, uh, free-to-play Fizz LR Goku that came with the version Z update. Now, real quick, before we get into the gameplay, I want to go over his details. So, if you guys happen to already know what those are, then feel free to skip ahead about 30 to 45 seconds. So, starting with his leader skill, it's all types, key plus 3, HP, attack and defense plus 59%. His 12k super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. And his 18k super greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. His passive is attack and defense plus 59% plus an additional attack and defense plus 59% when performing a super attack. And then all allies key plus 2 and attack and defense plus 30% plus an additional key plus 3 and attack plus 59% when attacking extreme class enemies and as you can see i did give him a couple of skill orbs a level 5 attack and a level 5 dodge and uh, his links are currently at level 1 so there you go that is the free to play lr goku which all of you guys can acquire right now very easily by completing the uh, panel missions so with that said we're gonna jump into the uh, DB Saga stage, or sorry, no, uh, the Black Star Dragon Ball Saga stage of the Infinite Dragon Ball History event. The team is Goku's family, and uh, why don't we start by, did I put Goku here? Actually, no, I want the Legendary Power Link, so let's just give these to the Gohan, and that's going to be a full 24k super for the Fizz Goku. Actually, let me check his defense, 127,000. That's pretty good. That's pretty good considering he does get an additional 59% defense and then also greatly raises defense on his super attack. Um, his defense should be well over 200,000 after he launches the attack. So let's give those to the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And uh, we should be able to kill this guy with the two LR Goku attacks. I'm expecting some pretty good damage from the free-to-play Goku. Let's see it. 5.69 mil, guys. 5.69 million. And he crits for almost 5 million damage. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Now, of course, of course, we do have a very good support on rotation. The uh, Gohan provides... 50% attack and defense, so obviously if you don't have a support on rotation, then you can expect to do less damage, but I mean, for a free-to-play unit, for a free-to-play LR that you can get so easily, like you literally don't even have to really arm anything, you know, like they'll give you all the medals, they give you all the dupes you need to get him to LR status by just completing those panel missions, so it's probably the easiest LR, the easiest free-to-play LR, I would say, to acquire in the game. And, oh my god. Yo, that's so annoying. That's actually mad annoying. So, uh, I forgot that this guy can lock your rotation, which is like one of the worst mechanics in the game, let's be honest. So now our Goku is uh, going to be taken out of the main rotation and we won't see him for a while. So that kind of messes with the showcase. Um, it'll be fine. Like he'll come back quick, but still I like to keep the unit I'm showcasing in the main rotation, obviously. So that sucks, man. That really sucks. Well, still some good damage there. And now we should be able to... Uh, finish off this guy whose name I can't quite put my finger on. I know he he's the guy that like causes earthquakes with his with his little like tentacle not tentacle his whisker things right. I, what's his name again? So <laughs> I'm thinking it's, I'm thinking Zamasu right now, which I know is not is not it, but it sounds something like Zamasu, right? Tsunimasa? 
Zeni Masu? Something like that. Yo, it's like right there. It's like on the tip of my tongue. I just can't quite get it. And it's really bothering me. Um, I might look it up. I might look it up. Like, I'm really bad with names. But I know, like, I, I know what this guy's name is. I just don't have it 100% down. You know what I mean? Like, okay, hold on. Let, let me look it up. Let me look it up. So let's kill the Para Para Brothers real quick here. Uh, we got our active skill, but I'm not going to use it yet. I'm going to save it for the time being. Um, okay, let's give a couple of orbs. Now, no super attack here because we're all sealed, but that's fine. Okay, uh, Zuni Masa? Dragon Ball? Is that it? Oh! No. Wait. It's not Zuni Masa. What is this guy's name? <laughs> okay, I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it. But that that's gonna really bother me, man. For the rest of the video, I'm just gonna be thinking about it, you know, in the back of my head. Okay. Um This guy could cause us some trouble because we do have two AGL guys. And uh, Goku I know like raises defense by a lot, but even so. Maybe it might be a good idea to pop an Icarus, so I'm gonna do that, and then let's try to get some supers off here for everybody. Now it looks like the Goku and Gohan um, won't be getting a super, but it's not really a huge deal. Um, their defense should be good enough. Okay, so I'm going to go actually on the Dokkan Wiki here. Dokkan Wiki, and uh, we're gonna look for Legendary, no sorry, uh, not Legendary. Infinite Dragon Ball history and I'm gonna go to this stage. I'm gonna find out exactly what this guy's name is because I know That I'm like pretty close. <laughs> I Just can't quite put my finger on it All right. All right. Okay, so this is a good rotation for us. This is a very good rotation uh, I'm gonna just give one orb to this Gohan. I hope he doesn't get supered. That's gonna be a 24 key super or our boy and then I'll give these to the SDR Gohan. Okay, so stage 14, and the guy's name is Tsunama. <laughs> Tsunama. I was pretty close. 6.2 mil, guys. 6.2 mil attacks that. And he's dead. That's crazy. That That is, that is some crazy damage for a free-to-play LR, guys. I mean... He rivals like uh, LR first form Frieza, who is so much harder to get and also to Extreme Z Awaken. So, yeah, I gotta say I've been I've been pretty impressed so far by his uh, performance, both offensively and defensively. His defense, like I said, after he supers, should be well over two hundred thousand, um, which is great for a free to play unit because he has a very good attack stat or sorry, uh, defense stat right at rainbow status. It's like over twelve thousand, so can expect some pretty good tanking from him i'm not saying he's gonna be an amazing tank for harder events but he's definitely gonna be able to hold his own for most things in the game even on like extreme to battle road if you don't put him in the first slot and he gets to attack first then his defense will be more than enough for the most part and uh yeah he's just really good like this as a free-to-play unit he's really really impressive i gotta say uh, but anyways, I was close, okay? I was very close with the name <laughs> of the second enemy, is Zunama, not, Z not Zamasu, not Zunimasa. I don't even know where I got Zunimasa from, um, like, where it came from, you know? Like, it's a name I know for sure. It must be from some other game or some other show that I played or watched. Anyways, uh, back to... Back to the main thing here, which is, you know, the showcase. Uh, for this Goku, I've been distracted so far. I popped an Icarus, or rather uh, a Princess Snake, because I wanted to make sure that our Gohan didn't get killed if he got supered. Uh, oh, crap. I messed up the token attack. I messed up the token attack. I was distracted, so I gave it to Gohan instead of uh, LR Goku. 
That was a mistake. That's my bad. This is gonna do like no damage. On the bright side though, on the bright side, uh, this will allow us to probably get a few more turns out of the Dezelar Goku. So in a way, I could say I did that on purpose. Let's go with that. 6.4 mil. This is gonna be probably the highest attack stat we'll see out of the Goku uh, on this team because we have like as many links as you can possibly get with the two uh, you know, linking partners, the Goku and the uh, Gohan. And we also got the 50% support, so 6.4 million as a cap for this guy on this team is, I mean, let's be honest, that's amazing. <laughs> that's very, very good. And maybe I should pop another item, but I, I trust the Gohan to hold up okay. And of course, uh, the Goku also does raise his defense by quite a lot. And also, we might just kill him with this Gohan Super anyway, so there's really nothing to worry about. Oh no, he's still alive. Additional. So Super Saiyan 4 Goku will finish him off. Speaking of Super Saiyan 4 Goku, I've been hearing a lot of people talk about the fact that they think the 7th anniversary coming up on JP is going to be a double Gogeta anniversary, which would be kind of weird because we've been getting Gogeta and Vegito pretty frequently, right? Or at least like two different characters. It's going to be two different Gogetas, but nonetheless, we've never had an anniversary quite like that before. So uh, it'd be kind of weird, but I guess I'm okay with it. Uh, it should be a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and a uh, Blue Gogeta, according to the predictions. I'm still not 100% sold, but I guess it's possible. We'll see. Um, but if that's the case, then I'm thinking it's going to be like, yeah, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta that fuse into, um, you know, the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and then a Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and Super Saiyan Blue Goku that fuse into Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, right? Something like that. That would make sense. But why double Gogeta is the real question. That just seems very disrespectful to, uh... To Vegito <laughs> and Vegito fans, and uh, I feel for you guys, man. Even though I'm definitely more of a Gogeta fanboy than a Vegito fanboy, I love both. I mean, I I, I love me some Vegito, and uh, I I would be a little bit upset. I'd be a little bit upset if it was double Gogeta. I mean, at the same time, I would be pretty happy about that too. So it's tough, man. It's tough. Uh. I think Vegito and Gogeta is still ideal. I mean, ideal for me actually would be Broly and Gogeta, but I doubt they're gonna do that. I doubt they're gonna break the trend of just like two, you know, super type units for anniversaries. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I definitely did not mean to do that, but I don't, I don't think it's a huge deal. Because uh, we do still have the Icarus active, so yeah, we'll be fine. I just uh, misclicked there instead of putting the Goku and Gohan in the back. But I think these guys are actually going to kill uh, or finish off the Rildo, and that's probably going to be the showcase. Unless there's one more. I think Rildo's the last guy. Let's see. Okay, so he's dead. And, oh, there's one more. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately, he's STR. Goku is Fizz, so we're not really going to be able to do much damage unless we get a crit. But he does have a decent chance to crit, actually. So uh, let's do, I mean, this guy's locked. So let's uh, leave the Goku in the middle. And I'm actually not going to give or use any items. I want to test uh, how well Goku can take a normal and or super from the Rildo. We know this Gohan is going to hold up okay because he has a lot of damage reduction. So even though we took 100k there, that's actually quite good. Question is, how well will the uh, Goku hold up? Alright, so 6.2 there. And we get a crit. 
Can we get a crit? No, we can't. Additional? <laughs> no additional. But, great tanking. Great tanking. I'll take that. I will absolutely take that. All right, so let's get the uh, Gohan and Goku back together. And uh, we should do quite a bit of damage to the Rildo here with the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku and AGL Gohan. One thing I really don't like about that tech Goku and Gohan at the end is that they don't get a lot of key. I mean, I know they're going to get a super anyways because in the last slot, they get key plus five. But for the most part, uh, I've noticed that it's kind of hard to uh, get them 18 key supers if you keep them in the rotation. But it's fine. We're not here to showcase them. We're here to showcase the uh, Fizz LR Goku. And man, he has been so freaking impressive. It really has. Like, this is the first time I've really used him in a legit event before you know i used him in a couple of like dokkan events and stuff like that but those are always easy right so you can't really get a sense for how good a unit really is unless you take them into one of the more challenging events of the game like this one so now we're going to be getting one final attack in hopefully with the is goku uh, i think this is actually the first time we're getting a 12 key super Although Goku, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, might kill him first. I feel like that's going to happen, actually. And... Oh, no! He's still alive. He's still alive. And Gohan, leave him alive as well. There we go. Okay, final attack. Oh! <laughs> I forgot about the extra key we get. So... Alright, that's perfect. We were showcasing him anyways, so... For him to get the final attack, the final shot, is very fitting. And uh, that is the showcase, guys. That is the brand new Fizz LR Goku, the free to play Fizz LR Goku. Extremely, extremely impressive LR, guys. Especially for a free to play unit. I mean, the amount of damage and also defense he can get is just crazy. And he's arguably, arguably, the best free to play LR in the game right now. Maybe just straight up best free to play unit in the game currently. Um, I do have to give that some more thought because obviously there are other contenders out there. But if he's not number one, if he's not the best free to play unit in the game right now, he's top two or top three at worst, you know? So. Yeah, go out and get him. If you guys haven't completed your um, panel missions, I don't know what you're waiting for. This guy is totally worth having in your box. And you're actually missing like a bunch of free dragon stones from those missions too, if you haven't done them. So yeah, go do them, get your Goku. And uh, that's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel. If you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.